So in today's video, I've got nine work from home jobs that you can easily do from the comfort of your home. And the best thing is these are available right now. And the first one on the list is going to be a chatbot manager for Ancestry.com. So Ancestry.com, if you didn't know, does DNA testing and genealogical research. And this basically means they help people trace their family history, their ancestry, their lineage, and in some cases, whether they have certain medical conditions in their DNA. And chatbot managers that work for Ancestry are kind of like DNA librarians. They help people look into their family history and uncover their roots. And this is a high paying position because it requires a unique blend of technical skills, strategic thinking, and excellent communication skills. And you can do this all from the comfort of your home. Now, according to Glassdoor at this company, chatbot managers make about 62 to $100,000 a year. So some of the pros of this one are the opportunity to work for probably the biggest company in the DNA testing industry. So if that's something you're really interested in, this could be a great job to get your foot in the door. There's a lot of work from home options, not only for this position with other companies, but also with Ancestry.com themselves. And you have access to advanced technology and resources. Some of the cons of this one, one are it does require effective communication skills. You do have to be very good at solving technical problems, and it is going to require continuous learning to stay up to date on the latest AI technology. But overall, I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, with all of these on the list, I'm just giving the company as an example. You can look up the same position, and there's going to be a ton of other companies that are hiring for it. And positions like chatbot manager are wide open for a lot of people because of the fact that chatbots just changed with the onset of AI. And so this is one of those skills in one of those careers we can get in without having that much experience. Now, the next one on the list might be great for you if you love reading and writing, but you're also really good with technology. And that's gonna be a digital specialist for Scribe Media. And Scribe Media is a company that specializes in helping authors bring their books to life. And as a digital specialist, you'll be assisting those authors in the process of writing and promoting their book in order to make it more successful. So you'll be kind of like a digital Sherpa that helps to guide authors through the treacherous mountains of the publishing industry. Industry. And one of the books they've helped publish, for instance, is Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. Now, the reason this is such a high paying skill is because you combine two very valuable skill sets. You're basically combining a writing skill set with a marketing skill set and specifically digital marketing and social media. And you'll notice that with a lot of the ones on this list, the reason that they're paid so well is because of the fact that they have two relatively rare skill sets. And with this company as a digital specialist, they'll start you off at about $75,000 a year. So some of the pros here are there's a a lot of remote opportunities for this position as well as with the company. It can be very rewarding because you get to empower authors to write their book and get it out there. And you're going to get a lot of experience in the publishing industry. So if that's an industry you want to work in, this can be great for you. Some of the cons here are remote work does require a lot of self-discipline. There can be tight deadlines and high pressure situations, and there's going to be limited in-person interaction with colleagues, which can be lonely. But overall, I'm going to give this one an opportunity score of nine out of 10. The next one on the list might be great for you if you're a fan of well-designed websites, but you also enjoy good copywriting. And that's going to be a UX writer for the company Sella. Now, Sella is a company that helps other companies with consulting and staffing, typically when it comes to creative or technological careers. And UX writing is where you create copy that helps users navigate a website. So basically, you want to help to make the website really good looking and also very user friendly. But at the same time, you also want to make the website effective. And at the end of the day, what the the company wants is the person to take an action, whether that be to buy a product or sign up for their email list. That's what the company wants the website to do. That's the purpose of the website. And so as a UX writer, you might change the text that you find on different buttons, menu items and notifications. And you might not know this, but just simply changing a text on a button can sometimes increase conversions by as much as 300%. So this one pays about 40 to $48 per hour, which translates to almost $100,000 a year. And the reason this is so high paying is because you you have a good combination of some UX skill with some copywriting skill as well. So the pros here are you're going to have a lot of remote work opportunities, not just with this company, but also with other companies. You're going to have a lot of exciting projects with diverse clients in different industries, and you get to collaborate with a bunch of other very talented artists. Some of the cons here are you do have to have very good time management skills. Some projects may have tight deadlines and quick turnaround times, and you are going to have to go the extra mile when it comes to networking. But overall, I am going to give this one an opportunity score of 
seven out of 10. The next one on the list might be great for you if like me, you're a fan of playing video games. And that's gonna be a gameplay animator for Counterplay Games. And Counterplay Games is a very well-known company in the video game industry that's worked on titles such as Ratchet and Clank, God of War, Horizon Zero Dawn, Diablo 3, Valorant, Gears 5, Guild Wars, Titanfall 2, Left 4 Dead, Halo 5, Battlefield 3, Bioshock Infinite, and many more. So these are very, very well-known games and you've probably played some of them yourself. And as a gameplay animator, you're gonna be helping to design and shape the characters with their movements, facial expressions, etc. And all from the comfort of your home. And actually this position is fully remote. So you can work anywhere in the world as long as you have an internet connection. And you'll get paid 100 to $150,000 a year. And on top of that, they have great benefits. So some of the pros here are the opportunity to work on some of the biggest games in the world. You have have the creative freedom to create something that's truly unique. And just as a side note, I think that video games are one of the best mediums for storytelling. And I honestly think they're just getting started when it comes to making some of the best video games of all time. And also another pro is you're gonna have a collaborative and supportive work environment. Some of the cons here are the video game industry can be highly competitive. You also have to have continuous skill development to stay up to date with the latest industry standards. And you can have very tight production schedules. And because of how competitive this one is, overall, I'm gonna give it an opportunity score of seven out of 10. The next one on the list might be great for you if you're a master wordsmith that can turn a boring manual into a page turning thriller. And that's gonna be a technical writer for GSK Solutions. And GSK Solutions is an IT company that consults with other companies in order to solve all of their information technology related needs. And as a technical writer, you'll be distilling complex information into clear documentation. And there are many different industries and companies that technical writers can work for. There's lots of opportunity in the technology technology industry, as well as the health industry. And according to Indeed, technical writers at this company make about $55 to $60 an hour. And according to Glassdoor, they make $113,000 a year. So some of the pros of this one are lots of opportunity for remote jobs, a chance to work on diverse projects, as well as different types of technology, as well as competitive pay and potential for career growth. Some of the cons of this one are it can be very monotonous. Remote work definitely requires a lot of discipline in this situation, and complex technical communication can be somewhat difficult over the internet. But overall, I am going to give this one an opportunity score of 9 out of 10. The next one on the list might be great for you if you have great technical skills mixed with a customer support background. And that's going to be a customer support engineer. And the company that you can work for is files.com. And files.com is all about helping other businesses handle the transfer and security of files. And customer support engineer is all about handling the technical side of customer support. So if there's a bug in a product, for instance, you might be the one responsible for looking into what is causing that and fixing it. And at this company, you start off at $100,000 a year, plus you have great benefits and even a chance of getting equity in the company itself. So some of the pros of this one are you can support clients from anywhere with an internet connection, so it's fully remote. You have exposure to cutting edge technology in the file management industry. And there is a a lot of opportunity for professional growth and learning. Some of the cons of this one are you do have to have excellent communication skills. You also have to have very strong problem solving and analytical skills, and you might be responsible for managing multiple customer inquiries at the same time. So overall, this one is going to get an opportunity score of 8.5 out of 10. For the next one, picture a company that puts the awe in awesome, the zing in amazing, and the copy in copywriting. And this position is going to be a copywriter for amaze.co. And amaze.co is dedicated to helping other companies design no-code, amazing landing pages for their products. And as a copywriter for this company, you would be responsible for creating compelling words that captivate audiences to take action. And at this company, copywriters make about $59,000 to $90,000 a year. Now, I will just say, as a side note, the top copywriters in the entire world typically do work in either their own businesses or as freelancers. And they can literally make hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars a year. So this can be a great opportunity for you to get your skills up when it comes to copywriting. And then chances are later on down the line, you're gonna start your own business or become a freelancer. So some of the pros of this one are you do have that remote work flexibility. You do have an opportunity to work on a variety of different projects in many different industries. And you get to sharpen your skills and expand your portfolio. Some of the cons of this one are the need to constantly produce high quality content, the challenges of staying creative, but also effective. And you may have to deal with what's known as writer's block. And 
if you're a writer, you know exactly what that is. It's basically where you have trouble writing for whatever reason, your brain just stops working. But overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of 7.5 out of 10. The next one on the list is gonna be a career I've mentioned many times on this channel, and it's honestly one of the best careers you can get into. And I know I feel like I'm beating a dead horse, but that's going to be software engineer. And one of the thousands of companies you could work for is CrowdStrike.com. And CrowdStrike is a cybersecurity company that's on a mission to stop breaches. And at this company, you're gonna be kind of like an architect, except instead of building normal fortresses, you're going to be building digital ones that help to safeguard against cybersecurity threats. Now, this company had great reviews online, really good benefits, and the pay is amazing as well. According to Glassdoor, as a software engineer, you get paid about $164,000 a year. So some of the pros of this one are you get the opportunity to work on cutting edge cybersecurity technology. You can work from anywhere in the world because it's fully remote, and it has a very competitive compensation and benefits package. Some of the cons of this one are it can be a fast paced and constantly evolving environment. You also have to stay up to date on the newest technologies and you're basically gonna be going to war with hackers every single day. But overall, I'm gonna give this one an opportunity score of nine out of 10. The next one on the list might be great for you if you want to work for one of the biggest social media companies in the world and one of my personal favorite websites, which is reddit.com. And specifically, you're gonna be a product manager. Now, I think everybody knows what Reddit is. It's basically a website that has like, hundreds of thousands of different little forums and micro forums. And a product manager is almost like an entrepreneur with training wheels. A company will come out with some new product and they'll put somebody in charge of it. And you'll be responsible for the success of that product all the way from the technological side of things, as well as the marketing and financing. And you're kind of like a chef that selects the perfect ingredients and then puts them together in just the right way to make the perfect cake. Except instead of ingredients, you'll be working with engineers, marketers, and accountants. Now, Reddit has really good reviews from former employees that worked with them. And on top of that, you will make a mind-boggling $183,000 to $275,000 a year in this position. And on top of that, it has really good benefits. So some of the pros of this one are you are gonna work in an engaging and dynamic environment. You're also gonna be working with cutting edge social media technology, and you'll get an exposure to a wide range of different topics and communities. Some of the cons of this one are you do have to have quite a bit of previous experience. So a lot of the time, people who end up becoming product managers come from a marketing or data analytics background. As a product manager, you also have a lot of responsibility, and you're probably also gonna be working very long hours. Hours. So overall, I'm going to give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Now, by the way, one job that's really good for getting into a lot of the ones on this list that's an entry level job that you do not need a college degree or previous experience to get into is digital marketing. And my friend Seth has helped a ton of people get into digital marketing. I've done interviews with a lot of them on this channel. And I'll go ahead and put his free masterclass down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. You can check it out if you'd like. And also, if you want to check out 13 remote jobs that are always hiring that are much easier to get into than most of the ones on this list, you can go ahead and click right here.